Hello, everyone. A location in northwestern Russia, not far from the border between Finland and Norway. Have you ever heard about how the gates of hell are located there? This is exactly what the Kola Super Deep Borehole is. In this video, we're going to sort out rumors based on which are true and false. Thank you all for your patience. Welcome to, or back to, our channel. For those of you who are interested, let's get started right away. How was the Gates of Hell constructed? Many ultra-deep drilling projects around the world penetrate the Earth's crust to the depths of many kilometers. These drilling projects are usually performed for utilitarian purposes of extracting gas and oil. This project on the Kola Peninsula, however, was not. No natural resources have been identified where the borehole is located. The purpose of this project is purely scientific research. The individuals involved in the Kola Super Deep Borehole project were faced with multiple challenges. One of these challenges was to determine whether the ideas that existed in the scientific community around the middle of the 20th century about the Earth's interior were correct or not. For example, at the time, it was already known that the Earth's crust was composed of three layers. These three layers are made up of sedimentary rock, granitic rock, and basaltic rock respectively. Scientists hypothesized that these layers had distinct boundaries between each, so they wanted to find and study these rocks. They also planned to investigate the process of mineral ore formation, as well as the mechanism of how seismic waves were generated. The Kola Super Deep Borehole is not the world's first drilling project aimed at scientific research. Project Mohole, for example, was launched by the United States in 1957 and attempted to drill through the ocean floor. Unfortunately, this project was ultimately abandoned. While the Western nations were considering all the risks, including financial ones, the Soviet Union took action. A national plan was drawn up to investigate the interior of the Earth by developing drilling pits in a consistent manner at various depths of the Earth. Under Soviet classification, Wells between 3 and 7 kilometers deep were called deep drilling wells, and wells over 7 kilometers deep were called ultra deep drilling wells. Both types of drillings were anticipated. In order to drill the deepest of these drilling wells, a site in which there were no layers of sedimentary rock was chosen. Few locations like that exist in this world, but one of them happened to be on Soviet territory. This was the Kola Peninsula, a desolate northern landmass. The strata of the Kola Peninsula are very old, having been formed 3 billion years ago when not even multicellular life existed. This land has hardly changed since then. For this reason, this Precambrian nature reserve was the perfect site for an ambitious project such as this one. In 1968, a scientific expedition was sent to the Kola Peninsula to select a specific site for the construction of the borehole. Two years later, on May 24, 1970, the excavation of the crust began. Although this project was initially kept classified, the Soviet government later relaxed its stance. In the beginning, scientists and journalists from satellite states of the Soviet Union were invited to the borehole. Later on, it was open to the rest of the world. Drilling continued for many years. Progress was steady up to a depth of 7 kilometers, but then came the problems. It was discovered that the tectonic model of the crust around the well was incorrect, due to the technical limitations of the equipment available at the time. Below the 7 kilometer mark, several layers of unstable rock began to appear indicating that the borehole had begun to collapse. Accidents occurred frequently, and drilling had to be redone from a shallower depth each time, causing the drill to come off and break. 
This caused the borehole to appear almost like a tree with multiple branches. In any case, drilling operations continued. In 1979, they were able to dig down the crust to a depth of over 9.5 kilometers. I apologize for repeating myself, but thus, the Kola Super Deep Borehole became the deepest well ever dug by mankind. A few years later, in 1983, the drilling project reached a depth of 12,066 meters, but then had to be halted. In 1984, drilling resumed. However, due to an accident, work had to be resumed from a shallower depth of 7 kilometers. Over the next six years, the newly branched well reached a greater depth than the old one. They were able to reach a depth of 12,262 meters, but the project was once again halted by another accident. However, this time, it ended as a permanent halt. In 1994, the government, which had already become the Russian Federation, decided to put an end to the project. This was the end of the twists and turns of the Kola Super Deep Borehole, and the beginning of fantasy and speculation. In the next part of this video, we will discuss those theories. Is it necessary to perform an exorcism? People love all sorts of conspiracy theories about the government hiding things. I would not be surprised if governments have an intention to hide something terrible or sinister especially when it comes to a closed totalitarian state like the Soviet Union. Various rumors have circulated for a while about the Kola Super Deep Borehole. For example, some claim that the Soviet Union might use the project as a tectonic weapon to cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Of course, scientists do not believe these claims. The most persistent conspiracy theory associated with the Kola Super Deep Borehole is probably the supposedly recorded Sounds of Hell. For those that are curious, it is possible to find these sounds on the internet. This sound is truly eerie, and some may say that they can hear the voices of tortured sinners. As this urban legend spreads, new spins are added to it. In particular, some claim that it was precisely for this reason that the Soviet Union first made drilling a state-classified secret and then ended up stopping the project altogether. This was because atheism and materialism had become part of the ideology of the Soviet state. In reality, even if people had wanted to record the sounds of hell and the screams of sinners, they would not have been able to do so. This is because there was not a single microphone in the drilling pits to begin with. There was a seismic detector underground, but it too was designed to record rock vibrations, not sound. The latter part of the conspiracy is also far from irrefutable. As I explained earlier in this video, the Soviet Union never made any attempt to promote state secrecy in this project. On the contrary, over time, the government gradually lowered the level of secrecy of the Kola Super Deep Borehole. The cancellation of this project was also due to economic reasons. At the beginning of the 1990s, the Soviet Union, and later Russia as well, was experiencing one of the most serious social crises ever seen. Another conspiracy about this pit is that it allowed the devil to escape from there. There are even some locals that claim this to be true. There are also rumors linking the constant accidents at the site to the mischief of those with such unholy powers. Of course, these stories are completely detached from reality. In actuality, the accidents were caused by drilling almost blindly after reaching a depth of 7,000 meters. This is what caused the drilling to fail so many times. Nonetheless, the scientists did everything they could. The machines at the time had technological limitations and could not properly explore the interior of the Earth. However, it is also true that some anomalies occurred in the Kola Super Deep Borehole. For example, at certain depths, seismic anomalies and explosions would be detected. However, nothing occurred or was detected by the following day. But, of course, 
An explanation for this phenomenon can most likely be given without having to blame some supernatural entity. That concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching until the end. We hope you enjoyed it. The Cola Super Deep Borehole was an ambitious project that showed how little we actually know about the Earth's interior. Many of the results obtained from the drilling were unexpected to scientists, and it took time and effort for them to make sense of the data. Unfortunately, however, the project has come to an end. But please don't be discouraged. Scientists around the world are now using cutting-edge technology to study the Earth's interior. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and share it on your social networking sites. We'll be off now to come up with a new idea for our videos. Guess it's goodbye for now. See you again soon. Goodbye.